Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. About to react to this Nicole TV vid. This is called I Went Home Today. I haven't watched her in a cool minute. Uh, her videos get copyrighted. That's why I stopped watching her on my YouTube channel. But, um, yeah, she had her baby not too long ago. So, I'm assuming this is her um, going home. Well, no. I saw she had her baby a while ago. This ain't going home from the hospital. Anyway, she... I don't know. Let's watch. <laughs> Maybe she means her hometown. Maybe she's not currently living where she's from. I don't know. Uh, this car going kind of fast. Uh, okay. Hey, oh, okay. So like, they used to trick you when you used to pick me up. <laughs> By the way, I don't usually react to vlogs because I don't really watch vlogs. I find the year boring. But I'll watch this one because yeah. I want to see what Yeah, this is the too. driveway. Kai used to pick me up and take me over there. <laughs> so, y'all, this is how you come through to my house. Well, my old house. Okay, yes, you're going to This looks so country. Where is this, child? It used to be so scary walking through scary. these woods like this. Catching the bus early in the morning, then at nighttime. Yeah, that shit was real. But then, hell, we got used to it. <gasps> the trailer gone? Yup. Oh. Oh, y'all, the trailer is gone. I didn't get to really show y'all. But the trailer used to be right there. And we used to play in this grass. And this is uh, where we used to stay before we got the trailer. Oh, wow. So this is my old house. I'm going to go in and show y'all. This is scary as fuck. They done fucked it up out here, but you know, even though it was always fucked up, they done fucked it up with you. So yeah. But it was fun playing out there in that grass, y'all. I had hell of fun. I was doing all type of shit. I used to come outside <laughs> with um my shorts on, no shoes. Um you bit up my bud. I hated those stairs because I couldn't really it's scary walking up them stairs, so this is what it looked like. I mean, it's pretty. And but... it looked like this when we was living here too. Well, the grass went up this bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta be careful, y'all. It might be snakes and shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Snakes and all types of bugs. Damn! Look at all these bugs. <laughs> Have it ready for me? Yeah. Oh, um, I'm good, but I got it. I can walk up. No weapon for against me, Chef Ross. No, I don't know what's going on because I heard also a long time ago she was in like a three way relationship. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, y'all, this was the kitchen. It looked bad now, but. This was our small ass kitchen. Um, it used to be a different color, but yeah. Uh, let me show y'all. This was the living room. Oh, wow. And we would use the back door a lot. Then we started to use the front door. Um, this was the bathroom. Uh, they started work well not working on it but they was about to do so i ain't even go in there this was my mama room this was you know we was always in here father and my mom her room was decent or whatever before it got like this and so let me show y'all where my room was this is where kayla nicole made her infamous videos do y'all recognize this pink wall yes so let me turn my oh! Spider webs, let me be careful. Shit, let me turn my flesh on. And this was my brother's room. Hell, somebody do be in here. Yep. <laughs> Got this bed right here. Well, to whoever live in this house now, God bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna get out their space right, before they pop up. Look at these damn clothes. Yeah. Who the fuck stay here? <laughs> let me get out their shit. Let me get out their shit. <laughs> mm. Um, but yeah, I just I just kept having the feeling I just wanted to come back home. Um just to see like the memories of this place. Cause I came far. I came 
very far. Yeah, far. And it just, it was hell growing up like this. And um, the fact that I changed my life like this in two years, I should be very you fucking proud of myself. Because I don't appreciate myself enough. But I just want y'all to know, you can't, you, you, you can't choose the life your parents give you, but you can make yours whatever you want it to be. And being poor, don't allow nobody to make you feel no type of way for being poor. Um, to this day, I still, you know, I still get judged because y'all see how I dress. I don't, I don't look like a millionaire or a rich ass, you know, person who does what I do. And it, it give me problems today too, and it kind of it hits it, so hard because it hurts. It's just like <laughs> damn, all my life I've been getting belittled and just judged because I was poor and all this other shit. But if you're going through the same type of thing, don't let nobody make you feel bad about it. Um, your life could change tomorrow. Literally, look at me and all the people who used to. I'm talking about bully me, even teachers belittling the fuck out of me making me feel like shit now yeah. look at me i came from this and nobody knows yes. nobody who even went to school with me knew oh, she and serious. i'm not ashamed to talk about it that's why i'm gonna post this video but it's just like people try to make me feel so bad and you know the crazy part is when people people who joke around all the time who are silly and i've heard this many times i'm sure y'all have too when they're being serious like you you think they're playing like initially and that's literally what i thought i thought she was doing her little fake cry that she always does so i was about to be like girl bye but then i'm like wait this seems like she's actually uh, getting emotional look look what i came from look what i've done for myself i'm just real proud Aww. it's nothing wrong with standing in the trailer it's nothing wrong with being poor because you don't know what your life could be if you I can't even say what I really want to say for it. I'm just I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because people tried to put me down a lot. They tried to make me feel like shit. I was bullied. I was abused. I had to go through a lot. And look at what I was I just thinking of at the age of just I've been doing this By internet way, stuff since joking, I was 13. That's, that's how and when I turned it. 17, that's when I started making my first Good money on YouTube. I got my little two thousand dollar checks. Then it went to four thousand. Then I hit seven thousand. Yeah. And I was in school. Um. And I was just telling people, I was like, oh, you know, I, like just all that fight and stuff, and just it was hell. We gonna have to save it for another video, but it was just yeah. a lot that I had to deal with coming from a place of nowhere. And the whole time, people tried to always paint me out to be so aggressive. And such a fighter, not knowing what I was fighting at home. So, mm. to any girl like me that's out there, Aww. this is who I'm I do for cry, people like me that. and you. And this is why I don't give up. This is why I don't give a fuck. Nobody can ever break me. The internet cannot break me because I built me. Hey. And I do this for my fans. Even when I was, even back in the day, um, when my channel was small, like, just the love I used to get. Y'all were the only thing that kept me happy when I would look at the reactions and the positivity that I gave other people. Mm. That shit made me hang on while I was fighting my depression and suicide and dealing with so much stuff. My fans kept me up and that's why I would never ever give up. And that's why I go so hard for my fan base because they went hard for me. I literally went from that like I was just here, my life just stopped being like this, and you know, I'm 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 30 years ahead of myself, so I just want to thank God and um anybody coming from the country, anybody poor, anybody that's struggling right now, it ain't the end. Get your finger out the way, babe. It's not the end of the world, and I was just like you. I was just one of those little girls who was having a hard time with their mamas and you know now we on our road to recovery but it's a part of the story so i can't leave that out you know and i really have i got a bigger message for especially dark-skinned girls like myself and a lot of people don't talk about how in black culture that mother and daughter relationship um 
I, I, I know firsthand. I know how it is. And I just had to, I had to deal with being ridiculed and being the bad guy before things got better. And you're going to hate it. It feel like hell. I still have to be like that in a way. Because the certain shit I have to deal with in real life. You know what I'm saying? Problems don't go away just because you get successful and you get rich. But just know you are not a bad person because you're poor. And you're not less than because you're poor. You are not people that try to make you just feel like shit just because you don't have shit. And then you come up on their ass and you do shit like this. And this is, I do it for people like you. I'm, I'm going to get real mad. I do it for people like us, nigga. I was just in this fucking grass <laughs> making the best of this shit. Coming outside, my brother, I all outside, no shoes. And the people that's going to see this video, yeah, this how I was living. Whole time, whole time, y'all ain't know that. Y'all ain't even know that. Now look at me. multiple properties, no mortgage. You better, fuck, you play. fuck the nigga me. <laughs> I can't. I so relate to the um <laughs> the duality. It's just so funny seeing her going from being all soft and crying to be like, yeah, fuck you, mean. I got properties now. Fuck out of here. Like I relate to that. That switch up so much. Um, but yeah, I, I I feel this. You know, I feel everything she was saying, and it's so cool seeing you know where she came from and where she is now. I'm sure it's really inspiring for her followers. But. Yeah, this resonated with me quite a bit. I grew up uh, really poor as well, lived in projects, you know, type of wild shit growing up. Um, but it was interesting when she talked about how people, you know, give her shit for being aggressive. And I really can't stand how that's used against some women who grew up in tougher neighborhoods. This is usually used against black women. Um, they are criticized for being too masculine or too aggressive or rough or hard but it's like you have to keep in mind that the neighborhoods that they grew up in as a black girl growing up in the hood you don't have the luxury of being soft like if you live a very cushion safe you know lifestyle and you're in a nice suburban neighborhood where things are safe then sure you can be soft and dainty and all of that good stuff but when you grow up in a tough neighborhood you cannot be soft or else you're going to get run over you're going to get bullied you're going to get taken advantage of uh so you, you build up this this exterior and that carries on with you for really the rest of your life um and it's not even by choice that you come across like aggressive or harder that's just what you've built up being a kid. And <clears throat> I feel like I'm an example of that as well. I definitely can come across, you know, aggressive and uh, <laughs> a bit uh, on the tougher side, even though I'm super soft. I'm very transparent about that. I never try to come across hard or like, oh, I'm so this and that. I don't try to come across that way at all. But it's like when I've grown up the way that I've grown up, like I, I wasn't able to be a soft little girl. So I had to get tough really quickly. I had to fight boys and defend myself and, and you know, do shit like that at a really early age. And when you're around that and you're in that environment, like, yeah, you're going to be a tougher person. You're not going to be all oh, soft and dainty. Hi, guys. Like, that, that's not what you're going to do. Like, you out there trying to survive. So, I, I feel what she was saying. And, and her showing her vulnerable, softer side, that was appreciated. Because, yeah, people do assume that people who are more aggressive, like, they're not uh, emotional or they don't have feelings. It's so weird. It's like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like, no, I'm, I'm very soft. I will cry like that. Like, I cry very easily. I'm very... Um, emotional and and soft you know especially people i love so i definitely understand getting the stigma that um yeah you're this way or that way because you act a certain way but it's like nigga the way i grew up like this is how i had to act this is how i had to be and yeah it's carried on to my adulthood because i got so used to being this way so i get what she was saying anyway this was a cool little video seeing you know where she was from i wonder where this is I want to say this seems very like North Carolina-ish or Mississippi-ish. 
Not exactly sure, but that's what it looks like it is. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought, though, and I'll see y'all in the next one.